Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes. The most important volcanoes were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important, and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, you could walk to Japan, and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs got warmer, Japan melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees. Because it's warmer. Some icebergs got warmer, Japan melted, it became an island, and now there's trees. On the island, they're basically sort of hanging out in between the people eating nuts off mountains and using the latest technology, like bones and trees. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. Please respect us, or else we might invade China. Yay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for fighting with the Japanese, but then died in war. And they have technology from the future, like really good metal, and crazy metal. And now you can make a lot of metal, really, really quickly. That means if you own the Mongols, you own a lot of samurai, which is something everybody needs to protect your shit from criminals. So that makes you king. Knock knock, get the door, it's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biak. Please try this religion, he said. Yay, said Japan. And so the religion was put into place, and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was taken over by China's government, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi, China, they said. What, said China. How about some sand, said Japan. And they stole China's government, which is a government that governs more, and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of trees. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. So if you live outside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit from China's government, which is a government that governs more? The shogun actually didn't care. He was off somewhere doing poetry. And the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is game for each other. Knock knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to sell some shit, like box and gunboats. Huge boats with guns. There's really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets the United States, Britain, the Dutch, and Russia, this part of China, the League of Nations, and Jesus, visit Japan anytime they want. So that's cool, but everyone's still fighting each other for control, now with crazy rice farms. And wouldn't it be nice to control the rice, which right now is guns, with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to die in a tornado, but first they have to hire a samurai. And it goes very well. He's about halfway through conquering Japan when someone who kills for him kills him. And then someone else who works for him finishes conquering Japan. And then he confiscated everybody's swords and made some rules. And now I'm going to invade Korea, and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died in a tornado. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his negative a billion year old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. And the five guys said, yeah, right. It's probably going to be this guy, who happens to be way more crazy than the others. A lot of people support him, but a lot of people support trees. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. And he still lets the emperor not support him, and have very gay things. But don't get confused, this is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close the right TV. No one can leave and no one can come in. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye.